physics, biology, chemistry, yeah, physics, biology, chemistry, yeah, let's do some science now, yeah, 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 kitchen pantry science, yeah, 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 let's do some science now, yeah, 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 kitchen pantry science, yeah. I'm Liz, the Kitchen Pantry Scientist, and I am here to show you some simple recipes for real science. And these projects are projects you can do using things you probably already have in your kitchen. Today's project is called Cornstarch Goo, and all you need is a cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of water. Now the first thing you'll do is dump the cornstarch into a big bowl. Get it all in there. Great. And then add the water and stir. This project is really cool because as you mix the water and the cornstarch, the cornstarch forms long molecules. They're sort of like ropes. Imagine long ropes of cornstarch. And when these molecules are moving slowly, like if they're just sitting in your hands, they'll slide past each other like ropes. But if you agitate them or move them really quickly, they get all knotted up and tangled up, and you can actually make this into a ball. So let's look at what the finished product should look like. This is our cornstarch goo. And as you can see, you can roll it into a ball. Imagine the molecules getting all tangled up together. It's almost like a solid. But if you let it sit in your hand, the molecules slide past each other and it turns into a liquid-like substance. So try this project at home. It's lots of fun. It'll teach you a little bit about the way molecules, long molecules, behave. And if you want to see the directions or learn more about it, go to kitchenpantryscientist.com. Have fun.